Here we are in the dining room. This is the final space to get a Christmas makeover. We're gonna start right here at the buffet and we're gonna make some Christmas trees out of some garlands. These topiary Christmas trees are going to be created by wrapping a garland around a trellis and then placing them inside of this white urn. Now, what I wanna do with these garlands is flock them. I was inspired by our mini thrifted Christmas tree that we have on the centerpiece in our kitchen. I love the way that that turned out. So I wanted to flock some garland pieces so we could have some flocked trees. I have these garlands. They're nothing special. I've had them for a long time. They didn't cost me very much money. So what we can do is make them better than they already are. And we're going to do that by flocking it. So I took these garlands outside. I also have a wreath that I'm going to flock. I laid them out and then I got some white gloss Rust-Oleum spray paint and I sprayed a light mist over the top of these garland pieces. Once everything had been lightly sprayed, I let it dry for 30 minutes. Then I turned them over and I did the exact same thing. I sprayed them in this white gloss rust spray paint and they had a lovely wintry look to them. To add some extra flocking, I have a can of Santa snow and I sprayed a light mist over the top of this garland again. I made sure that everything was covered in this Santa snow and then I let it dry for 30 minutes. Then I flipped it over and I did the other side. I sprayed it lightly in the Santa snow. This Santa snow gives this garland a flocked look because it's a little more chunky, more like real snow. Once everything was sprayed, I let it dry for an hour. This is an easy and inexpensive way to get a flocked garland. The garland is flocked, it's dry, so now we're back inside and we're going to attach this to our trellis. I added some Christmas lights to it, it goes all the way down, and we're going to attach it to the trellis with this floral wire. So I've got floral wire, I've got my wire cutters. I'm going to take a little segment of this floral wire and I'm going to wrap it around the top of my garland and around the top of the trellis and that will hold everything in place. And then I'm just gonna wrap this garland around the entire height of the trellis. Just got finished putting this last wire on our garland. And as you can see, it is wrapped around the entire height of our trellis. And we've got these green wires that are just sporadically placed throughout this garland. You can't even see them because they match in with the garland. So everything is set and ready for decorating. At the top of my trellis Christmas trees, I created some bows. These are gonna be my toppers. I'm using some white ribbon and some sage ribbon and some sparkly gold and white ribbon as well. Then I simply added a large variety of ornaments to my trellis tree. I placed them all around the tree and then I also added some gold magnolia leaves and stems of gold berries. This was such an easy way to create a Christmas tree. I used things that I already had. I had the urn, the trellis, and the garlands and we created a Christmas tree. So if you have a small space or you just don't wanna buy a Christmas tree this year, but you have these items, this is a great alternative, but still gives you the feeling of a Christmas tree. I placed one trellis Christmas tree on this side and the other on the other side of the mirror. And then in the center, I created a nativity scene. This nativity I purchased in Guatemala. It was handmade. I love the rustic feeling of this and also the color. The contrast between the rustic and the elegance in this room is just perfect. What I did with my nativity is I placed it on top of my buffet table and then I wound a string of Christmas lights around the pieces. And then I'm gonna use some polyfill over the top. Now this polyfill does double duty 
The first way is that it hides all of the mechanics from the Christmas lights. It hides the extension cord and the wires from the Christmas lights. They disappear underneath the polyfill. And secondly, it gives my nativity a heavenly feel. The white polyfill looks like clouds. It looks beautiful during the day, but it looks magical at night. I also added some framed sayings on either side of my nativity. This nativity is a beautiful focal point in this room. to use my bar cart. I love this bar cart. I got it at my thrift store and I love decorating it. It's one of my favorite pieces, probably because I can move it from room to room and it's just so versatile. So what I'm going to do with my bar cart in here is I'm going to place some apothecary jars on the top. I have two large apothecary jars that we're going to start off with. Now typically I like to use Epsom salt as snow but I had some leftover faux snow from when we flocked that mini Christmas tree that's the centerpiece of my kitchen. So I'm just gonna pour that faux snow into my apothecary jars. I purchased this snow at Walmart. It was only a couple of dollars and I love the way that it looks like real snow. After my snow was in place, I put some bottle brush Christmas trees in the center. These are gold Christmas trees with some beautiful gold ornaments around them. And then to the top of my jar, I added a sage ribbon that I threaded through a crystal snowflake ornament. I simply tied this to the top of each one of my large jars. I love this added detail. It makes these jars feel so fancy. And then I added a smaller apothecary jar to the center. I did the same thing with this. I added that faux snow and a gold bottle brush Christmas tree. This time I just tied a plain ribbon to the top without the ornaments. You have to have some treats on a bar cart, right? So I added two smaller apothecary jars and I put some chocolates in one and some candy canes in the other. And then on the bottom shelf, I placed a picture I love this picture. This just warms my heart and it ties in the whole nativity theme of this room. My print is from American Luxury Gifts. They sent it quickly to my home and it was packaged beautifully. I took my 11 by 14 sized print and I put it inside of a frame. This frame is mirrored and it's going to look beautiful on the bottom shelf of my bar cart. I simply slid it onto a frame holder and it themes this bar cart so beautifully. American Luxury Gifts has a huge variety of prints available for your choosing. They have inspirational, they have seasonal, they have professional art prints. They've got some humorous ones, a huge variety. Of course, I chose a Christmas themed print. And the best part about these prints is that they are extremely affordable. If you're looking for a unique Christmas decor piece, they've got you covered. They also have a huge variety of gifts that you could give away very affordably to your loved ones. I will leave a link to American Luxury Gifts in my description box, as well as the link to the specific print that I chose. To the center, I have a, another small apothecary jar, which I'm going to add some moose munch to because who doesn't love moose munch, right? Grab a handful of that and you're good to go. And then to the far side, I have a cake stand. I put another bottle brush Christmas tree on top of that and covered everything in a glass cloche. And to tie the sage ribbons together, I created a bow around the top of this cloche. Isn't this bar cart so fun? 
when people come by, they can grab a snack on the way in or on the way out. That is if these treats last. I don't think they will. I think my kids will eat them up, so we're gonna have to restock this bar cart on a regular basis, but that's okay. That's what Christmas is all about, right? Having fun snacks and treats to share with others. Because we created our North Pole Winter Wonderland in the foyer, we needed to move that foyer table into the dining room. So now we have a beautiful foyer table that we can decorate in here. We're gonna start off with my broken mirror Christmas tree. I made this two years ago. This is one of my favorite holiday pieces. It's so special, it's so large, and I love the way that it reflects all of the light in this room. And I'm not even gonna hang it up on the wall because I didn't want to poke any nail holes in the wall and I didn't know if a command hook would hold it up. So what I'm doing with my Christmas tree picture is I'm just going to lean it up against the wall. In front of my mirror, I have my orchid arrangement. This is the orchid arrangement that we made out of a light fixture. The light fixture that was in this dining room originally, we took it down, we turned it into a container for this orchid arrangement. And all I'm gonna do with this is add some extra holiday details. I have some ornaments that I placed at the base and also some mirrored stars. Doing this is a cheap and easy way to theme a piece that you already have into a different holiday or season. And then to the sides, I have some bottle brush trees. I placed them on some mini cake stands and a mini cupcake stand. This gives symmetry to my table because I put three on either side and they also add some extra sparkle and they go along with the Christmas tree theme that's on this table. Let me show you how I created this beautiful dining table centerpiece. I wanted the focal points in this room to be nativities because after all Christmas in our family is about the birth of our savior. So I want that to be front and center in this room. So what I did was I took one of my favorite nativity sets and this year I put it on top of a mirror. I love how this mirror has different segments. So I placed my nativity pieces in these different segments of this mirror. In the center, I have a cake stand, which I put my holy family on, which raised them up a little bit and then I put a large cloche over the top. I love the way this looks. It's simple, it's clean, but it is a beautiful focal point where you cannot miss the fact that this nativity is the centerpiece to this dining table. On either side of my nativity, I have some teardrop swags. Last year, I used these teardrop swags to hang from my lanterns on either side of my mirror. So this year, I'm just repurposing them in a different way. I put it on either side of my circular nativity scene. And to theme it a little more holiday, I added some extra ornaments, some extra pine cones, and I also added some battery-operated flicker flame candles. I love candlelight in a dining room, especially in the evening time when the lights are dimmed. I love the flicker of the candle. I place these flicker flame candles inside of some votive candle holders, and then I place them on top of some mercury gold votive candle holders. These are smaller. By placing these candles on top of these smaller mercury glass candle holders, it makes them stand out and not get muddled in between all of the greenery and the ornaments that are in the teardrop swag below. Now let's bring our eyes up to the chandelier. This year I added some snowflakes behind the crystal drops on the bottom tier of this chandelier. And then I added a sage bow to the top of the chandelier. This is definitely a theme that I'm going for this year with my light fixtures. I have bows on my pendant lights in the kitchen. I have bows on my sconces in the formal living room. So in order to tie those spaces together 
adding a bow to this chandelier in here is a perfect option. I think our dining room turned out beautifully. I love the final look of everything. It all ties together with the rest of the house. We incorporated sage in here. We incorporated the white, the gold, all the other elements, all the other ornaments that we have in the rest of the house. The flocking on the trellis tree goes perfectly with the flocking that's on our large Christmas tree in the family room. I think that my favorite time to be in this room is at night because I love the glow from the nativity scene. These lights bounce off the mirrors and off the chandelier. The broken mirror Christmas tree reflects all those lights. The mirror also reflects that North Pole winter wonderland that we have in the foyer. It just comes to life at night. done decorating for this Christmas season. Can you believe it? I feel like we've been doing it for so long, but it's nice to finally be done and be able to kick back and enjoy all of the hard work and effort that we put into each of these rooms to make them festive. Next week, I am going to be doing the home tour. I'm so excited to show you how all of these rooms go together. We can revisit each of the spaces that we have created. So make sure that you are subscribed so that you will not miss out on that wonderful home tour. I hope you enjoyed decorating with me today or you got some inspiration, some ideas, so that you can decorate your home for Christmas. I appreciate you stopping by. Thank you so much for watching.